What is up guys? Before you watch this video, make sure to subscribe and click that notification icon so you can know exactly when a new McDoubles video comes out. So, with that being said, enjoy the video. What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new episode and today we're going to be continuing Chad Boinker's journey on the wildcard realms on Shadow Song. So let's begin. So first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys a few pieces of gear we got that have been upgraded. First and foremost, as you can see, we now have the Raging Berserker's Helmet. Huge upgrade and uh, makes us look a lot more like a Chad. <laughs> and then we also have the Tidal Charm. This is something I bought for myself and I completely forgot I had it. So we now have a stun on this character, which is going to be pretty interesting. I'm really, really hoping I can find some fights today. My kit is just made for it and even though we don't have a heal, that is castable, we just have the recuperate. What I'm going to do is actually buy some potions and uh, just go for it. And then the other piece of gear we got, let's see, what was it? Ah yes, the branded leather bracer, six stamina, but plus 20 attack power. It was a pretty good upgrade over what I had. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm gonna go to STV right now and look for fights. That is my entire purpose right now. And also if you're in an alliance guild on Shadow Song, I don't have a guild on the Alliance on Shadow Song, so uh, please invite me because I think not wearing a tavern is actually quite ugly in World of Warcraft. So I'd like to be able to wear this and have it not be gray. And I don't want to make my own guild only because I don't think I can actually run three guilds at one time. I already feel like the Horde version of this guild on Shadow Song is uh, pretty void of players right now because of how many people seem to be well quitting and also going to Laughing Skull and a variety of other things. So uh, yeah, it's pretty difficult running one guild, let alone two or three. So yeah, if you have one, Shoot me an invite. I would love to play with you guys. All right, guys. I think I saw somebody up here. He looked pretty strong, though. I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to take our points out of agility and put all of them into stamina for this. Got a guy right here. Let's see if we can catch up to him. All right. We got him. Get that wing clip off. I'll stun him right off the bat. I'm gonna go ahead and fear just so I can get everything off of me. I'm not really sure why he's zipping all over the place though. Wing clip, get that moon fire up again. Huge damage on him, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the recuperate just to be safe. Wing clip again, refresh that moon fire. Looks like his only heal is a rejuvenation. All right, got out of that with the sprint. Gonna get my own charge off now. We're gonna go for the big eviscerate. That's what's gonna happen, guys, for sure. He parried it. Can you believe he parried it? All right, 274, so much for the big eviscerate, but we definitely got this guy and dead, right? Dead. There we go, 13,000 XP, I'll take it. Reticulated Bone Gauntlets. I used to wear those. Pretty good. We got his shield. I feel bad about that. Greater Mark of the Dawn. Interesting. Lots of people use those now. Swamp Chill Fetish. Okay. I'll take it. Didn't have to potion up or anything. Did have mana problems. I could have life tapped, but I have to be honest, guys. When people do really low amounts of damage and it seems like they don't know what's going on, I actually just don't assume they're noobs or that their builds are bad. I just assume they're hiding something really good from me. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, GG, man. Good fight. All right, guys. So in this clip, we actually were stalking two other people when this guy ran by, and we just knew we had to get the free kill. So he had no idea that we were behind us, and uh, we just straight up ganked him uh, between charging right off the bat, getting off that wing clip, and then spamming SS with cleave. We also got off the uh, 
moon fire i'm sure at some point Wait, there we go there's the moon fire he tried to fear us and we should have known that we could have used berserker rage to do something about that but i hadn't played on the character in quite a while so it didn't really click with me it didn't really matter though because i had sprint and charge so i knew there was no way he was going to get away from me uh, that's why i didn't even bother to trinket we just kept spamming the cleave and the sinister strike and he couldn't do anything unfortunately we didn't have any kind of interrupt for all these heal spamming that's always the scariest part, I think, personally, about PvPing on the wildcard realms. But uh, we ended up killing him with the Moonfire through the Hand of Protection. And as you can see, we got pretty decent loot. Those Flesh Hide Spalders are pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we took it. Alright, we have a guy right here. This should be a pretty easy kill. I, uh, I'm actually just going to trinket that now. I have the Sprint up. We're gonna get that wing clip up soon too. Yeah, he's dead. I didn't expect that uh, gouge to be so long. All right, he's gonna die. There's no way he lives here. I have the stun. Got him, 9,000 XP. We'll go ahead and finish off this blood scalp shaman. Okay, pretty decent armor. Uh, Headhunter's armor. Then we have the renegade belt of strength. Some uh, crap and then a recipe. I don't know if that recipe's worth anything, but we'll have to figure it out. Pretty decent kill right there. So I just opened a chest that was actually in a pretty cool spot. I wish I had recorded it, but it was right there. And as you can see in the chat, we got a whole, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items from that chest. That's absolutely bonkers. That's crazy good. Um, still looking for some people to fight though, but um, so far it's been pretty populated around here. I've been surprised. I also just realized in that last fight, I could have just Berserker Raged the Gouge, but uh, it's actually been a couple days since I've played uh, in between some of those other clips you saw, so I just completely forgot what I even had on this character, so throw me a bone on that one. Alright guys, we have somebody right here. Let's go ahead and get this kill. I have the Berserker Rage for that actually. And we have the Sprint for that travel form, no big deal. Get off that Wing Clip. Alright, this guy's definitely dead. Alright, dead. And Eviscerate got him. 24,000 XP with that uh, XP pot that we had. Basalt necklace, gold ore, bronze bars. That might sell for something. Nothing too impactful loot-wise, but uh, I'll take it. it. It definitely wasn't bad. So I actually PK'd these Greater Marks of the Dawn. They're very, very broken, actually, because I can use them at my level, and I get a whole 21 stamina uh, at level 40, which is pretty crazy. So we'll take that, definitely. That might actually help us in uh, the you know, destruction of a few more players in STV if we can find them. So, All right, guys, I see somebody up here. I'm assuming they're within my level bracket. They're not. Oh, they just died to that guy. I could have taken his loot, but like that's that's completely messed up. <laughs> uh, well, GG, I guess. Apparently, the transfer happens today, and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it because they're doing it the right way. They're mixing a loot into Shadow Song or merging it rather, as opposed to the other way around which was a horrible, horrible idea, considering I would say the vast majority of the community plays on Shadow Song, so putting them through even more transfers and such is a mistake. So I'm very, very happy that Alun is transferring into Shadow Song, and uh, hopefully I can get more kills before that happens, because I'm not exactly sure how long the servers are going to be down, so let's keep looking, guys. I really do want to continue going on a tear. I just want to find as many people as I can. Okay, somebody is right here. And they have no idea. Let's go ahead and kill Flexi right here. Go ahead and get that title charm stun off. I think this person just accepted their fate. Good, goodbye, man. All right. Well, at least there's a new ability to add some excitement. 32k XP. Is that scatter shot? <laughs> and we got the blood ring. And library scripts, not sure what that is. Parrot cage, I'll take that. Chief Brigadier leggings. All right, silk cloth, I'll take that. And the mage weave. Uh, that, that is not too bad of loot. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to use the parrot cage. So that's pretty cute. And uh, I have a new potion. That's nice from that fight. Chief Brigadier leggings are not better than what I have. 
Uh, the person seems to be just a wee bit salty. But no, uh, free kill. I'll take free kills all day, especially when they get me levels and then I get scattershot off it, which is not an ability to be slept on. Now, scattershot is a pretty strong ability. Basically, it's going to do a small amount of damage and disorient my target for 4 seconds. It's very similar to blind or even to gouge, except it has a 15 yard range. So my ability to stick on my targets and CC people around me has just improved even more. Between Scattershot, Blind, and Psychic Scream, and then Wing Clip, I'm not really sure anybody can get away from me. The only thing I'm really missing now is a solid and consistent interrupt. But other than that, um, I'm kind of fine relying on Recuperate and Potions right now. So I feel like we're doing really well with this build. Okay, I think somebody might be here. There's a dead Naga Explorer. A couple of them, actually. So I would assume somebody's at the end of this trail. There he is. All right, guys, let's go for it. All right, he's feared, but that didn't matter. He's gone now. All right, we stunned him with the title charm. And he commits suicide. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a person right here. What are they going to do? <laughs> this guy's dead. Poor guy. And that guy's dead. There we go. 23,000 XP. I'm not going to kill his friend because I get no loot. But I'll take it. 23k XP. Pretty good. All right, guys. We see somebody. We're going to take him out. Get a good amount of XP for this. Let's go for it. Stunned. And he's dead. Got him, 11,000 XP, and we gained that level off it too. Enduring Breastplate, Glimmering Male Greaves, Insignia Mantle, ooh, 15 Silk Cloth. I'll take it. That was a pretty free kill. I'm seeing a lot of cat form players today, which is pretty interesting because it's a very rare build to get. Uh, but yeah, so many of them have it today, and they're all getting destroyed. <laughs> so, And another guy right here. Let's go for it. All right, he has a bubble. We're gonna have to play this safe. I didn't start with full HP. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the recuperate now. Get this charge off in a moment. I have sprint, so it's no big deal. Mm, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trinket that. All right, we got the scatter off. We can get that off now. I think we've got him. We've definitely got this guy. He's dead. 16,000 XP. Ranger cord of the intellect. Okay. We got his food too. Some arrows. Nothing really good. Unfortunately, we got this guy's junk. It happens sometimes, but I'll take the 16k XP any day. Especially on somebody four, no, three, two or three levels above us. It's actually fights like that that really feel weird on the wild card realms because you just don't know what your opponent has. So you see a level that's higher than yours and you don't know if he's going to have a castable heal that he can just spam. So it's, it's kind of iffy when you're low on health. Turned out he didn't have anything besides power word shield and we were able to mow through that guy with just raw damage output pretty quick. Didn't have to worry about dying ourselves, which was nice. But uh, it's always iffy on the wild card realms. You never truly know what your opponents have. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this PvP-centered episode, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. But I will see you guys in the next episode. McDoubles out.